Hi guys, in this video I'm going to give some more insight in regards to spiritual warfare. I have a playlist on my channel so if you want to know more about it, just ask that you take the time to go and look at that. Now of course you know the Holy Spirit is our teacher in all things. I don't expect you to just rely on me but to take everything back to the Lord and evaluate it or most, most, more importantly, you know the Holy Spirit can teach you for yourself. However, you know, seeds do need to be planted guys so I'm going to be speaking from my personal experience and what I've been involved with what has worked for me the different types of warfare of course you know spiritual warfare you're fighting the spirit because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities the powers um the forces of darkness guys spiritual wickedness wickedness so our enemy the real battle is taking place in the spirit and many people Unfortunately, they do not know that we also have weapons in the spirit that God has given us. Um, now, there's different types of weapons, you know, different weapons that I've used. Of course, everyone likes to use prayer because you hear people say, pray, 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 pray. And I've made a video in regards to that in the past about are your prayers making sense? I will post that in the, um, in the description setting of this video for you to go back and look and take a look at so prayer is a form of warfare it needs to, needs to be used wisely <clears throat> surrendering to the lord is also a form of warfare and i talked about that in a past video as well you know just realizing that you can't do things on your own that you need christ i talked about that guys in one of my videos um specifying how we need christ i can't even remember the title fully sadly right now but yeah we need christ um Another form of warfare, guys, would be just giving the Lord the glory, the honor, and the praise. For an example, I made a video in regards, regards to being stubborn. And as you know, stubbornness is a form of pride. And when you are stubborn, it gets you in that state to where, you know, or at least with me, how I was angry and I was upset. And I didn't want to talk to no one. And I didn't want to be bothered. But you have to fight through that. And you do that, you know, by giving the Lord the glory, the honor, and the praise. Of course, there's different methods of warfare. However, you know, it's best to use them effectively for each given situation. And when you are undergoing that process, you know, just let the Holy Spirit have have its way within you. Of course, because it's not really our weapons. All these things belong to the Lord. We are nothing without the Lord. So when the enemy attacks, although we are the vessels, they are attacking what's in us. And we, as children of God, they see the light within us. So technically they're trying to get go after the Lord. But as his vessels, you know, he's going to do warfare within us. And the more we learn, and the more we grow, and the stronger we get, the more we're going to be partaking in that. The more experienced you are, the tougher the battles may be. But then again, we do all things through Christ who strengthens us anyway. You know, when you're undergoing warfare, it all depends on your level of faith. If you have weak faith, your warfare may be limited. If you have strong faith, you'll be able to do much more. But again, it's all about just letting the Holy Spirit just speak out of you when that time comes. Though I do feel it is important that, you know, we get more educated in the different weapons and the different styles that we can um, use. Now, of course, in Ephesians 6, it talks about the armor of God. We need to be suited up with the armor daily. And it talks about the sword of the Spirit being the word of God, the word of God, what Jesus speaks. You know, not just the actual word of God in the book, but, you know, Jesus just giving you a commandment, allowing the Holy Spirit taking over. That's the word, you know, the word of God as well. We have different weapons, guys, not just the sword of the Spirit. And when you read the word, you learn more about the weapons. But the Holy Spirit speaking out of you just let the holy spirit speak out of you and don't quench the spirit um so yeah giving the lord the glory the honor and the praise sometimes depending on the circumstances you may you know you may pick up the actual bible and maybe read a few feel the scriptures or something because you know um there was a brother in christ and he talked about how demons didn't like um the book of revelation chapter 18 and honestly within warfare I was noticing this myself different types you know not just limiting my warfare to different things um, to just battle commands but like actually picking up the Bible and maybe just reading a few scriptures what I felt was you know what really just came to me and you know demons they couldn't resist that 
either. You know, regardless whether you have your demon eyes, you have demons on the inside of you or outside of you, if you're giving into what demons want you to do, you're still being oppressed by demons. So when you are undergoing warfare, when you're battling, you know, you you still get the victory. They still can't resist. And I'm speaking from experience because I've noticed this as well. Um, of course, there's battle commands where you can call for the sword of the spirit. You know, you may cause the sword you may cause the enemy to get slashed or stabbed with the sword of the spear whatever it may be you know when you read the bible elijah he was a powerful man of god he was calling fire from heaven that's you know some extreme warfare um if you are a beginner or if you have strong faith again just be led by the spirit or just start practicing and testing these things especially if you are new to it and the more you become accustomed and experienced to it the easier it gets sometimes the lord will allow certain things to happen like for an example, let's just say you're asleep and you get attacked in your sleep by the enemy. The Lord may allow that to build up to build up your faith, but to help you in training you, basically. Although it's his weapons that's being used, guys. It's like still a form of training so you can get accustomed to the things that's going on in the spirit. And I'll give you an example. Sometimes, as, you, as I say, as you're asleep, it's like you may be in a sleep state, in a awake state, or... I guess in the spirit you could say and you're laying down and you're able to hear demons or some of them may try to sit on you or crush you and you may not be able to move your mouth you start doing warfare your mind calling on you know Jesus and then once you are in a position to where you can talk and open up your mouth then you begin to do the warfare out loud sometimes the Lord may want you to pray he may not want you to pray out loud again be led by the Holy Spirit in doing that guys now when you are taking part of spiritual warfare keep in mind the enemy he's he's very proud he's not going to just stand there and let you strike him without trying to strike back so of course expect the enemy to try to attack you he can attack you in different ways either physically he may he may try to attack your finances attack your health attack the people around you or surround us he can even do something as you're just trying to turn off the light something of that nature but you know guys just beware because when people undergo spiritual warfare you're going you're doing actual battling in the spirit it's just like if you was fighting in the flesh if you punch someone they're going many of them not going to stand there they're going to punch back same thing in the spirit if you fight they're going to fight back but just know we do all things through christ who strengthens us and we do need stronger faith sometimes the enemy may try to attack you i'll give you guys an example i had the enemy attack my arm my right arm and it felt kind of squirmish in the spirit i can't really describe it but it's like in the spirit my arm is just wobbling and i had to heal myself in the name of jesus and you know it eventually stopped guys it's just some things like that and again that comes with having to build up our faith if you can't do some things like that then it's probably because you need to build up your faith guys and just spend time with the lord and you know breaking chains little by little it's just a matter of learning when to use each warfare tactic for each given situation you know so you just pray and just ask the lord to teach you how to do that because you know the enemy he also really and truly loves to attack the prayer warriors because you know their prayers are powerful so he's going to really go at, go after them the most if you are a prayer warrior so beware of that guys but it's good training ground you know so if you're one of those people who do not care about the enemy trying to attack back you know just pray and just ask the lord to teach you more um about spiritual warfare the weapons the different types of weapons how deep it can go guys because you know it can go as deep as getting blood on your armor the enemy's blood upon your armor and it's benefits of that as well guys but um keep that in mind because the enemy will try different methods now the enemy also attack you based upon the things that you struggle with. For an example, let's say you are a people pleaser or you was a people pleaser. And I'm speaking from personal experience too with this, guys. What I've noticed with what I notice is demons, different methods they'll use. They'll try to get your guard down because they know that you care about pleasing others and things. And I've had demons go as far as saying good morning god bless you and i was actually kind of shocked about that the fact that a demon would say that but then again i'm not really all that surprised because as you know demons jump into the bodies of people you can have a conversation with a person or a demon and you may not even know it you know just literally literal 
demons in the flesh guys so they they use methods like that to try to get you off guard they know they observe you they know your different weaknesses guys they know what you struggle with they know which form of warfare method you like to use the most and how to go about getting you through other methods so the point i'm making is don't limit yourself to the different techniques when it comes to spiritual warfare now there are a lot of individuals who have the carnal mindset <clears throat> and what i mean is they use carnal weapons and i made a couple of videos about this in the past god's weapons versus satan's weapons and guns and saints what must be done i'll post those two videos in the description setting of this video as well a lot of people with the karma mind says, as I said, many of them, you hear a lot of people say, if someone breaks into my house, I'm going to get a gun and I'm going to shoot them. But what I don't hear them saying is how they're going to take out the source. You know, you, you try to shoot the vessel, the person, but you are not shooting. You're not going after the source of what caused the person to act like that to begin with. For an example, let's just say you had someone who was trying to kill you, a spirit of murder that's in a person that's coming after you and you pick up a gun and you try to shoot the human being the spirit is still there the spirit of murder you got rid of the, the human being but you did not get rid of the spirit you need to learn we we all need to learn how to fight in the spirit if you are one of god's real true children guys and unfortunately there are a lot of followers of christ who don't even know how to use warfare so you know we need to get into the habit of learning to use the weapons that the lord has given us his weapons, of course, because many times we just sit and allow the enemy to just bully us when the Lord has given us weapons that we can fight, you know, for the warriors out there, the warriors in Christ. This video is for you. So just take the time to just go seek the Lord in about these things, the warfare, because it gets deep in the spirit. It gets deep in the fighting, guys. There's different fighting styles. And don't just limit yourself to one fighting style, you know, pray praising, worshiping, battle commands, reading the word, speaking the word out loud, doing things within your mind, just knowing when and when not to do things, God allowing the Holy Spirit to just pray through you. So keep that in mind. Again, you know, many things is based upon your level of faith. We, of course, you know, the goal is to have faith that can move mountains. We're able to do much more. And the Lord, he's going he's gonna to prepare us. He's going to build us up. So if you're one of those people who is not afraid of extreme spiritual warfare, regardless whether the enemy attacks you or throws some serious blows or not, then pray and ask the Lord to teach you about that. You know, for some reason, you may not, you may be like brand new and you may not know what's going on or you feel you're trying to do warfare and you see that it's not effective you know check your spiritual state as well as your level of faith you know if you do not have the holy spirit of course talk to the lord pray to receive the gift of the holy spirit guys and just follow up with the lord on things so please keep that in mind because this is something that many people need to be informed of and again taking everything back to the lord and you you know having him to teach you himself, guys. So thank you for taking the time to listen and have a blessed day.